Hello, welcome to the EQC Division 1 in Heidelberg, Belgium. This is Henny Schress, commentating this thing for you. Hi, and I'm Sam Davis, also commentating here. Uh, we're here at the Glasgow versus the Barcelona Eagles game. Barcelona? Yeah, yeah it's Barcelona. Barcelona Eagles. Good, good. Glasgow is on the left in black and white, and the Barcelona Eagles have just cried something on the right in white and blue. Oh, it's very snazzy kit. This is actually such a great perspective. It's my first time on, on, on this live stream. And it's quite cool. You feel so important. So high above everything. Oh, it's nice being in a nice stadium where you can just have, have space to yourself. There's so many times where you're just at the side of the pitch and you've got everyone around you. You, you feel like I, we are standing on some kind of balcony. It feels like having a big speech. It makes you feel like a dictator. Yeah, no like way. You can walk out, you can give a give Is a message to the people in front of you. Is it better? I like the feeling? Hello. No, that's how it starts. You get the power play. That's how it starts with a German on the balcony. <laughs> so Glasgow are doing their chant at the moment. No idea what they're saying. Something Scottish. Something and oh. now they've they've just given a Maybe nice this is power. what Grim Reapers say before they rip you. That'd be worrying. Barcelona okay. Eagles was the very first team in Spain to start training, they say. I will stick to Catalonia, I think. I don't dare to call them Spain. I'll call them a lot of things. They'll be fine. A lot of things. We're just have talking you seen about. Have any of these teams play before then? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I have. So you have the Eagles. seen Barcelona Eagles. I don't remember anything at all, but I heard great things from the Green Reapers from Glasgow, and I'm secretly fangirling them uh, on Facebook. A couple of weeks ago, I got to play against them. Um, a uh, tough game, something like that. Their uh, their chases, especially on defence, are they're, they're they're beautiful players, something like that. They uh, from the inside and from the outside. <laughs> I don't know. I never saw them on the inside. Creepy. Yeah, but I'm uh, always admiring the home pitch because it's in some kind of park. Maybe they've changed it now, and I wonder that how they are allowed to play there because uh, the lawn is just destroyed afterwards. Normally in the UK, you get to play in parks by just not telling anyone you were there. So you turn up, ruin it, leave. You have to be quick. It's so easily ruined. It's raining every single day. I think I've, yeah, I've been a Rasmus student in Scotland. That's why I'm fangirling the team. Which doesn't mean that I know anything about them. I just know that they are quite decent. And I mean, they are playing D1 EQC after all, with the best teams in Europe. Well, you'd hope if you get there that you're going to be a little bit decent. So at the moment, it seems they are attempting to start lineups, but uh, I think there's a broom substitution. We could commentate the referees get setting up the pitch. Do you know um, who's ever roughing today? I no. Do I, I don't know. The, the the ref is hidden under a cap and in this fancy electronics. Well, there's a sharer walking through there now with some brooms. I know that one. That's one. And the referees getting one the brooms ready. The brooms on the right are already there. Brooms on the left, almost. I count five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. They're, they're getting there. They're almost, almost ready to think about going. Aww, aww. It's not very efficient, you is got it? got that ref warming up. The other one tying his shoelaces. Yeah, that's professional. The one thing I do remember about Glasgow, their beaters do like to, uh, to grab and swing on you. So they, uh, they do like to get into a bit of a grapple when they're going after the bludger. Um, okay, it's a bit of a mixed grab right? bag if they're going to do well with it or not, but the chasers normally pick up any mistakes. I need sunglasses. Oh, yeah. For your information out there, we need sunglasses. That's Belgium weather for you. And off they go. So first to the quaffle is... Um, 15 of Barcelona Eagles. Getting it through. Getting it knocked out just a little bit with a monkey claw there, stopping the arm. Making the throw. 24 of the Grim Reapers. Making a goal. The first goal of the match. It's 10 to nil That's for Glasgow. That's Matej B, I believe, from Glasgow. Matej. That mm. sounds right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Matej. I don't know. It, that's, that's how the word looks. So Matej scores the first goal. So that's 10 Ma Mate. to the Grim Reapers. Oh, we can't see the score from up here, so we just have to count ourselves. Oh, it's, uh, Oh, we can. We can see <gasps> the score. See, we're highly Fantastic. So let's go back to the game. So, uh, so a bunch of players just cleared out the Grim Reapers here, but their chaser lineup, as I was saying earlier, are just holding back okay. Barcelona. 
without their bludgers. Barcelona has a quaffle. I think this is a former Team Spain player, or maybe actual team player, Spain player. Ooh. Now trying to force no, their way through there. The anyway. Grim Reapers are now taking back quaffle possession. 24. Oh, it's Eamon. Quaffle to seven. Eamon is the head ref for today. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. Where's he from? Uh, he's from uh, Scotland, I think. Oh, no, he's not. Nah, isn't. he's not. Oh, sorry, I'm just eating no, the microphone. He's not from Scotland. I don't think he's from Scotland. Where's he from? Oh, he might be from Scotland. I mean, he no longer plays uh, in Scotland. Those shots to the hoops and that missed. Or maybe it was a pass behind the hoops. There's another Grim Reaper that passing to the front of the hoop. Intercepted. Intercep inter intercepted by 27 of the Eagles, who's going forward, passing to another chaser. 75. 75. Tech tackle down by Glasgow. And the quaffle is with Glasgow again. 24. Trying to get through. And another broom's down. This will be fun. Let's see what this is. I reckon it's back contact. Have you got any guesses what it is? Uh, no. Ah. I I, <laughs> I, I, my, my guess will be back contact. Actually, we are so far away. I, I wish I had my glasses on. I'm so busy trying to find out where the quaffle is. I sometimes forget to commentate. So, I think the only, the only player I know of Glasgow is Jema. Sorry, who? Which one? Jema. I think it, he's playing beta. Oh, Chema. 23. Ah, yeah. Hi, Chema. I don't think he knows that I know him. Just this yeah. kind of guy who's always everywhere. Illegal rap. Illegal rap. To Glasgow 19. 19. Who's coming towards the sin bin? Yeah, I think that was the one where she wrapped the player. <laughs> oh, that what? would be that. That was that, that incident. incident. <laughs> So the and power stance she's taken up though in the subs box there. <laughs> just, she looks like a politician about to give a speech. You know, they've uh, done that in the UK where they tell people you look more powerful the further your legs are apart. It's an odd theory, Eagles but Eagles trying to get the oh that's a goal for the Barcelona it's a Eagles. Lovely little I think pass it's there. ten to ten now. Pop out that was number um, something he's seven. 25, 27. No, 27. I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was they don't have a 75, so that's easy. They didn't, yeah, it was 75, not on the uh, sheet. They, they're cheating. They've got a Logical ghost player Joe is with, with, I don't know, with the Barcelona Eagles. S the, the Grim Reaper slowly moving the quaffle forward. They are currently walking into a little bit of a trap here with the beaters from um, Barcelona closing in. Really oh, high but they are offense. Pushing, they're pushing them back now by the Barcelona Eagles. Really long shot to 24 behind the hoops. Uh, long shot from the 24 to the 7 they're again. They're just for passing Green it Rippers. between each other now, aren't they? Um, Ooh, this is that's a jaw-shattering right, shot right there. There's the pretty much nothing in the way of this Barcelona's player. Is they going to push it for the hoop? Go. go. Popped that's it right in. 20 to 10 for Barcelona, I think. The, uh, the Eagles seem quite happy about that. That was number 30... Uh, well, I thought it was 37. I, I was distracted by the loud cheering from Barcelona Eagles, who are all alive. And on the left side, haha, the Grim Reapers look a little dead. They are really, really quiet. Well, they're being somber, aren't they? they you know, death isn't loud. Unless mm. it's some kind of blender. Uh, that unless gets it's you. loud. Like, you know, a chainsaw, that's pretty loud. That's a good way okay, to die. Yeah. Scotland, Grim Reapers. Slowly moving up the pitch. The beaters do beater stuff. And really long shot. It was a getting a bludger to the gut there. I've, so many, I've seen so many missed long shots today. There's been a fair few of them. I think sometimes it becomes a little bit desperate. No reason at this early stage yeah, no, for them to start playing like that. Definitely We're only right three though. minutes in. It's still <laughs> very much in range. Just one, uh, one goal between them. And the quaffle is with Barcelona. There's another issue in terms of their beaters there. They constantly go for driving contact when they've got no room to push them back. They just get beat on the back and it's pulled everyone out of position. Something like that would be far another better Another really long shot. That player is proud of his long oh. shots and 25 loses the quaffle because the player was frightened. This is very much Glasgow's uh, their signature play. These long shots where they get a troll behind the hoops and they go to basically try and get behind all of the defence. They do it constantly. If you've got someone back there who's able to stop them, that can entirely destroy their game. So, on the pitch now, bludgeon control is currently with Barcelona, I believe. 
um, who they've with number eight yeah. at the back there. They're marking the long passing option. They've they've obviously sussed out that uh, Glasgow do enjoy their long long passes. And there's an, was it? That there was a, a long goal. pass. It wasn't a goal. Uh, but for me, it looked like one. It probably wasn't one. But equally, but looked cool. with these long passes, they you know he gets them on point a lot of the time. The issue being, they're so long that there's a lot of time for people to react to them. Yeah, it's like oh great, I've got my bludger here, and there's the ball. Perfect. I mean, it is a beater's dream whenever anyone does a very long-lasting shot. That's re it, 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 I'm a beater, and it's a great feeling if you beat someone who's going to receive right. a long shot. It does make you feel good. Oh, that was that a nice, was beautiful. nice pass and another goal for Barcelona. That was absolutely wonderful teamwork there. Positioning himself exactly where he needed to be just to pop that in. It's 30 to 10 for Barcelona. Ooh, he almost leapt through the hoop and himself. Yeah, one of the most important players, number seven Ooh. from Grim Reapers, just scored another goal, so it's 30 20. Grim Reapers there. Nice little. Uh, I mean, that seemed angry the way he wanted to do that. Just getting in, he didn't want to do anything pretty with it, just kind of force his hand through that hoop. Got the goal. <laughs> so Really, really slow game in a way. Well, they don't need to. They don't need to have it going fast at the moment. They're slowly picking up their points. Oh, nice tackle! Through. Nice tackle by 19 of Grim Reapers to the uh, 27, I think. The Reapers are really suffering without bludgeon control here, with uh, with Barcelona's beaters being able nice to get straight in goal. And just rip them apart, allowing you know things like that. That goal there. Nice they goal by all the their Barcelona. players around it. Keeper. Uh, 27, Abraham, brand new captain. He has two children, and they are his biggest fans. He has two children? Yeah, the 27 from Barcelona. I thought cool. you were saying his children are 27. Oh. I was going to say, he must have been young. Thanks. You never know what happens in Catalonia. And oh, <laughs> that was a lovely little lucky shot there. It looked I think. like an accidental I goal. I think that was supposed to be a pass, but we're, we're going to say it was intentional. It wasn't. A, yeah, it's uh, me to say, oh, that was not meant to be, but yeah. Oh. Very, very nice shot line. Okay, the person with the two children has the quarter. It's moving up the pitch. Walking in is yes. A I don't long really shot know there. Now what Barcelona are trying to do their long shots. Don't really know what to make of the um, of the strategy, the offense tra strategy of Barcelona. They just happen. It looks like they are just staying around at some places, but nothing planned. From the look of it, they've got a bit of a box formation going where they do have a shoulder guard close to uh, the distributor and then two trolls behind the hoops. Yeah, um, now they're, they're just, just on one side. Well. They're, not keeping, uh, they're not keeping good distance. And a really long issues. shot behind the hoops and a nice kick yeah. by the Grim Reaper uh, chaser. Didn't really do much to help anyone there, did it? Brooms down. Let's see. Discussions going on. Okay, it was just a person on pitch. Cool. And Barcelona Eagles have the quaffle. And they have bladder control still. Uh, bladder control means you have your team has two of the three existing bladders in play. <sighs> By the way. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> that was just the wind. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the wind blowing away all our notes. Okay, <coughs> 27 has Quaffle. And this is a goal by 27. Abraham, I think. That brings the score up to 30 50. Barcelona getting very excited again now. I think once the sun comes out, they kind of warm up. They're a bit like lizard people. <laughs> they, uh, they need the extra heat. And then they start shouting, they start scoring goals. Barcelona, In right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But Glasgow, they are just yeah, stood there not. somberly. Yeah, uh, still, it looks like a, yeah, like a funeral. Uh, one one of them's now clapping a bit. That's uh, interesting. And the others try to clap along. I think so. I think they're saying, let's Twen go, Glasgow, let's go. 25, Glasgow passing to their seven. Seven passing back to 25. 25 passing to the seven. And this is a uh, no goal. goal. Oh. And that's a goal through the falling have. hoop. Or not. Actually, if I may say so, I think it wasn't, it wasn't through. I personally don't think it went through either. But no, if I the refs call it, the refs call it. Yeah, so um, the quaffle has to go. He's going to have to have a look. Like the whole quaffle has to go through the hoop. Ooh, yellow card. Oh. Illegal charge. 
and the Glasgow so in terms player of that, doesn't I think that will fly. negate the goal. Goal that's not stamped. So Maybe. Let's have a look. 50 that's 40. 50 I don't know. 40. If so I, I think that means the goal did stand. Okay, cool. So uh, that was for an illegal yeah. charge. So he lent his shoulder into a, uh, into a tackle, I believe. Bladder control with Barcelona and the Barcelona beaters are tidying up the defense of the Green Reapers. There was a pass. Glasgow uh, do oh. seem to have taken. Uh, Sorry, um, the Eagles do seem to have taken Glasgow's uh, very own offence and turned it against them. And Glasgow don't seem to be able to defend from it that well. They are letting players get very deep into their uh, into their hoops. You'd think they, they would be able to defend their own tactic? You yeah, wha know. What is happening now? Is this a brooms down? This is a brooms down. Uh, I hope either that or everyone got really slow. <laughs> I mean, if they've <laughs> got suddenly. to the point where they're just, <laughs> just stood on the pitch... Uh, there is not a single player who isn't in the Glasgow um, keeper zone. So this is uh, if a Glasgow player gets it and is able to do a bit of a breakaway, they're going to score straight off the back of this. But equally, it's a very dangerous situation for Glasgow to be in with all of the Eagles in their box. Glasgow 23 just needs a top hat. Waiting yeah. in the sin bin. Oh, right. Elegantly. Oh, right. Yellow card. Glasgow number four, ignoring referee calls. Ignoring ref call, yellow card. So basically, for technical stuff, you get a blue card. So that's and if you do physical naughty. contact wrong, or if you disrespect a referee, which also includes not listening to them, it's, it's a yellow card. And you have to be, to my experience, you have to be really bad at not that's listening this. to the referee to get that card. But I'd just like to say at the moment, Glasgow have both their beaters in the sim box, which means no. that the... Uh, <laughs> The Barcelona Eagles have entire pitch control. Um, so one goal from uh, from the Eagles will fix that and get the beaters back onto the pitch. But A goal is a goal. A goal is a goal. As it stands, <laughs> there uh, there's absolutely nothing that's going to... Uh, Wisdom on the live stream in EQC Division 1. <laughs> so, naturally, the quaffle is with the Grim Reapers now. So I think the Eagles have just realized that there is no <laughs> bludger, uh, no um, beaters opposing them and decided to try and press. They've now got control. They're going to charge it in. No one's no in the one way here. No one to save them. No one. Oh, oh. That, was, that was missed. 27 tried to do there was the magic so, before. So little to stop him, and yet he was stopped. Glasgow now have one of their beaters back on pitch, number 20, uh, 23. It's Chema. It is Chema. I think. I had time to contemplate the name on the back of his jersey. <laughs> in. No. Hä? Huh? Wasn't it? I'm confused hmm? now. 23, Didn't it say 23? It said, it said 23. Huh? I'm confused. Anyway, yeah. maybe maybe the names. And the, anyway. So we don't think the that names correspond. So that was Ooh. a really long shot to watch the hoops. Do. That was a very close uh, pass there, but it just slipped through his fingers. Ah, nice. Another goal. And two chasers were around the. were wrapping the chaser from. Barcelona, and he passed to another player who's standing in front of the hoops and just made the goal. Barcelona do seem to be resetting into defense a lot faster than um, the Grim Reapers are in this game. And I think that might be something that's going to become far more important the later we get on in the game, when players are starting to get tired, how quick they can reset. Mm -hmm. As it stands, oh, the, Reapers the Reapers do Reapers seem to be... Control. Oh, nice Ooh. catch. Nice catch, nice goal by the, the number goal. seven of the Grim Reapers. That catch almost didn't happen, I feel. Both uh, <laughs> two, well, two Reapers. Oh, nice, it almost didn't happen. It did, well, two, two Grim Reapers players both grabbed the, uh, the quaffle at the same time there. They almost ripped it out of each other's hands. Uh, I think just a little lapse in a, a bit of a pitch awareness from one of the... Uh, one of the Reapers there. It also looks like the beater there, who is just being carded off, is about to get a second card uh, for a oh. neck tackle. Um, to catch. Allowing the game to play for now until uh, the ball is regained by the Grim Reapers. That was a nice boxing the quaffle away <laughs> by the Glasgow keeper. So it looks like, uh, I think, number four from Glasgow, uh, Alice Reaver. I think she's about to get a second yellow card, which does become a red, so she might be off now. Ah, uh, bad luck. 
a shame within the space of about a minute to get two cards. Go. Eamon really likes his slow walks. <laughs> He's building up the dramatic <laughs> tension. It gives, you, it gives you some, um, what's it called? Authority. Authority. No, it's all about the showmanship we've got. And watch him shuffle his cards in a moment. Yellow card, yeah. Glasgow, number four. Oh, Illegal so sad. Rap. Illegal yellow, rap. Red. Double yellow, which yeah. means a red card. And the player has to leave the pitch. And a uh, substitute for the player is going into the sin bin. And... Um, Oh, so the portal is now being returned to um, the Barcelona Eagles, which means that they're going to have another shot at taking that goal that they missed a moment ago. Um, it also means that they're now a beat they're now a beater down in the game, so they've still got a lot of people. Oh, they haven't got as many people to go through now. Remount, says the referee, and whistles. So, tw 31 trying, ah, <laughs> that's going too fast. Okay, a chaser from Barcelona has the quaffle in front of the opponent. Hoops um, get distracted by the seven. The keeper, another player of Barcelona, running around the hoops, losing the ball. Uh, Barcelona chaser running for the quaffle. Followed by a beater, so that didn't went go well. Eight of Grim Reapers inbounding the quaffle again. Glasgow allowing the quaffle to roll out of bounds there so that they get the uh, get possession safely without having to wrestle for it. Amund chasing the keeper from uh, from Glasgow to make sure that he uh, doesn't delay the game. Uh, Glasgow haven't noticed that there is a beater moving behind their uh, quaffle carrier, I think. No, oh, they have. Just, they've just no, noticed they now. Have. That would have been fun. Nice aggressive beat and a long shot behind the hoops where there's a Grim Reaper chaser, 24, who's passing a long shot over the hoops from the back to the front again, and 19 um, takes the quaff lap. I think that was the first reset. Only one is allowed. There's a lot of uh, long shots with these bludges at the moment, and it's just left the Glasgow Grim Reapers' defense 27. Well, open, really. The beaters aren't there now. And, uh, uh, 17 tries to get Barcelona tried to score, but the defense of the Grim Reapers was too good. To be honest, that one, I think, is more luck than uh, the defense being good on that one. They managed to stop him from going in, but in terms of that throw, he missed <laughs> the shot. Yeah, yeah. He was just half a foot too Ooh, low. That was a nice attempted catch by the Grim Reaper behind the hoops. Didn't turn out well, but looked cool. 27 of Eagles passes to 96. 96 slowly walking up the pitch. So the beaters are back in play now. Number 26 coming on to replace uh, number four. So 26, Elizabeth Layden. It's now come on as a beater for the Glasgow Grim Reapers. All right, nice. nice um, 19 was just sent attempt. back to hoops there for um, a back tackle. Not a, not a cardable uh, one, but uh, just a, li a little bit of a back touch. A little bit of a, a stroke there, I think. Oh. That was a beat. They ha they've called it no good for beat before. I'm not sure if it did get in. It did go through the hoop. Um, unfortunately, he was hit before it came out of their hands. Seven of Grim Reapers going forward, getting beat, losing the quaffle. And the Barcelona Eagles have the quaffle again. Yeah. It's gotten a bit again. slower, I think. Oh, well, he's, he's gone into a little bit of a run. started running, 96. Barcelona going towards the hoops, trying oh, to do it on, on his That was own. a beautiful dodge. They have called it that good. Was a goal. Just dodging under the arm of the Glasgow keeper there, getting straight in there, getting that goal, bringing the scores up to uh, 70 to 50 in favor of the Barcelona Eagles. Both teams still very much in a snitch range with only two minutes to go. We've only, yeah, with only two minutes to go before the snitch is on pitch. Nice aggressive beta play in the defense of Barcelona. Uh, 19 of Grim Reapers trying to get through but getting tackled by the 20-something, 7, I think. They're going to want to get this up quickly and get into the goal. 27 wins, the there. quaffle passes to 7 of Barcelona, I guess. But try Being chased down by getting tackled, down. 
and beat at the same time. And now the Grim Reapers are back in Quaffle possession. And now the Grim Reapers in the sub box are waking up and we can finally hear them. They've decided that they're going to join us today now, which is nice. So Glasgow are currently 20 points down, which means that they can still win with a snitch catch when that comes on. I'm waiting for the really long shot behind the hoops. In about a minute. It, it looks like they are, they are about to do that. So they that, really yeah. love that long shot, and it is coming, and the 27, uh, 23 of Grim Reapers caught there it in a way, one. passing back to the front, letting the Barcelona Eagles run. The seven of Grim Reapers got the quaffle back again, it's tries to no score, goal. and it misses. A long shot. The Seekers have been called to the halfway line, so they're preparing for that now. Next time Glasgow does uh, one of their famous long shots, I think we're going to have to count to see how long it actually takes oh, to get from yeah. player to player. Please. I reckon around four seconds. Maybe Wait. maybe three. I'm going to say oh, three I was, seconds. I was, I was about to say three. You said five. Uh, four. I said I say four. three. <laughs> I'm going to win. Fine, all right. I'll go four. You go three then. Okay. Let's see how it goes. One Mississippi. To Mississippi. Who's the snitch? Do you know the snitch? I do not know. A really hairy snitch. He does have a fantastic facial beard. And so snitch timeout has just been called. I believe it's been called by um, Barcelona Eagles. Mm, I think. No, I don't know. I was. It does look it. So I think Barcelona Eagles, having uh, the possession of the quaffle in the half, have called timeout. They had 45 seconds before the snitch was on pitch. So that means that. Uh, well, once that's on pitch, they can't call a timeout again, so they've uh, they've used it well, I think. They've timed it timed it precisely. They're going to be trying to figure out how they can do that little extra push now just to get them outside of a snitch range. One more well, one more goal means that uh, a catch from the Grim Reapers would be putting them into overtime. If the Grim Reapers can get one more, well, if they can get a catch, they're going to win it. If they can get another goal, they're still in the range for it. Not gonna lie, everything I can say about this game at the moment is very obvious. <laughs> Unless you're a first time viewer. And if you're a first time viewer, it will become very smooth. obvious. <laughs> really smooth. Really if you smooth. are a first time viewer, I think you figured out most of it. But those with the white and green hatbands play with the volleyball, which is a quaffle, and they want to score. And those with the black hatbands want to knock out people with their dodgeballs. Anyway, who's in quaffle the prop possession? That's the Barcelona Eagles. Obvious. Also, it was them who did who asked for the timeout. Barcelona, I think they do look like they're trying to slow the game down a little bit. So I th yeah. they might be uh, might be ranking their uh, their seeker above the Glasgow seeker and thinking that they can uh, that as long as they've got defence around the snitch, they're going to win it that way and not have to uh, not have to worry about uh, scoring or getting rid of the quaffle. Oh, nice tackle! Nice tackle by 19. I think I've seen so a couple of a nice. Goal. Tackles a goal for Barcelona Eagles. That's the goal that puts them 30 points ahead of uh, the Grim Reapers. Shall this now means that if they do catch the snitch, uh, the Grim Reapers will only take it to a half to uh, to a overtime game. Uh, shout out to Laura Gas Laura Garcia Vega, 19 from Grim Reapers. I think she she does really well in tackling and attempting to tackle. The Grim Reapers do goal like goal. Uh, with their beaters getting into a bit of contact. The issue being, a lot of the time, uh, it turns into a drive and they just get knocked out. Yeah, the 22 of uh, Barcelona Eagles, Shaggy. Shaggy? Shaggy. <laughs> How have I not noticed this? <laughs> Shaggy. So Which one is it? <laughs> it's it's the keeper of the Barcelona keeper. Eagles. Shaggy. The Shaggy is the one with the beard. It's a glorious beard. All right. So, uh, Glasgow Grim Reapers currently have possession of the quaffle, passing it over. It looks like there's going to be potentially another long pass to someone behind the hoops there. Let's have a look. One, Ooh. two, three, four. Oh, oh. I'm going to say four. Okay, I count that you won. That. You I won. won. Unfortunately, it was a pass right to Shaggy there, so the uh, keeper of Barcelona now has it. The snitch is on pitch, and um, both teams are really going for it now. Remember, if... Uh, if Barcelona grab it, they win instantly. If uh, Glasgow grab it, then it's going to be overtime. Now, if Glasgow get it, it's going to be out of snitch range with a goal for uh, Barcelona, bringing the score up to, I think it's somewhere around 90 to 50. 
the seeker of Barcelona Eagles number four is called, I will just pronounce it the English way, Jordi. And he's a professional football referee. And if that isn't a fun fact. And the other one from the Grim Reapers, I, I don't see the number. I don't know which one we're talking about. But uh, um, uh, the Wesen. Grim Reapers are being pushed back over halfway line. That's one reset, I believe. Not being beaten out. They they keep on missing number 22 there, trying to beat him out, but uh, he's holding his ground. I don't even know if he knew that the beaters were around him. There you go, finally now being removed. Shaggy is beat, running back to hoops. The beaters getting into a little bit of a scuffle there. Glasgow coming out on top, now having full possession, and they are bubbling the snitch. Fun fact about the seeker from the Green Reapers. He once made a winning ca snitch catch with three seconds of overtime They've, remaining. I think Glasgow just scored. A little bit confused about how that happened, but, uh, <laughs> but apparently they did. I think did. the ball went through. All right, the ball went through the hoop. So they scored. That brings them back into overtime range now. Grim Reapers have but, blood uh, to control. Here comes Barcelona to put them out of range. There they go. Back out of range. So uh, Barcelona are quite safe at the moment in terms of... Uh, the Glasgow Grim Reapers can't grab the snitch. And Barcelona had, I think, bladder control for the most of the game, and now they haven't. So that's a, that's a change. <laughs> maybe um, maybe that's a snitch on pitch thing for them. I think one of the things with snitch on pitch, when you're bubbling and you've got possession to start off with, like um, uh, the Grim Reapers have when they come into this, because you're so close to your beta partner, it becomes almost impossible for them to get the balls off you unless it, you have to get into a real crush for it to start turning over quickly. I love snitch on pitch games for, for playing, for watching sometimes. It's great fun. So let's have a look what they're going to say. Mark Pico Marcus Gargante is number seven of number seven. Green Reapers. Illegal rap. Goal is good, player stays on the pitch. Goal is good, a legal rap for number seven. Um, because the goal is good, number seven can stay on pitch. So again, I believe the score is 100 to 60. Goal is good. I think. Yeah, it's 100 to 60, I was right. I did all that Ooh. even without the, uh, the little prompter. Well done. I'm very proud of myself. Well done. <laughs> Hello. It's with the two voices on that. <laughs> Fair enough. We have three people here. Eamon oh. is having a chat again. It's 100 to 60. 100 to 60. The scorekeepers having trouble Barcelona, setting the score up. 40 points ahead. If they're able to break the bubble around the snitch and get a bit of free time with them, they might be able to, to end this game nice and quickly for us. Oh, that was close. The 15 beta of Barcelona trying to get a bludger off the hands of the Grim Reapers, who constantly beat out the Seeker number four, the Barcelona Eagles. The Grim Reapers uh, can actually use one of the bludgers in the offense, in the chaser game. And that's a goal for Glasgow there, meaning that they're back in range for overtime and they're going real fast at that snitch. They want this overtime. I think Glasgow are gonna try and put everything they can on the, uh, on the snitch now to get that overtime, because I think they believe if they can get in overtime, they're going to catch the snitch before the time runs out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Again, beta play now is getting quite tight around the snitch with every single beta currently fighting it out for the snitch, uh, for snitch supremacy, leaving the chasers to just kind of... Uh, go about their business. Oh, here's another brooms down. I think this is something in the beta game someone's noticed. Good thing uh, on this pitch we don't get a million brooms downs for um, inbounding a bludger which went over a fence. So that's actually quite good feeling. Do -do 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 -do. I'd say the sun has gotten a lot brighter now and it's uh, starting to hurt. You're so pale. I'm, I'm really afraid for your face. I'm afraid for my face, too. <laughs> you, have afraid, uh, you have a face to be afraid of. <laughs> well, as long as I'm uh, just on a microphone and not in front of a camera, all right. Face I've got the perfect the face for radio. So Which on is the sung by a Scottish band. Sorry? Face for the radio is a song. Ah, right. 
So on the floor at the moment, the quaffle is currently being held by a couple of players. Yeah, it's no injury stuff, right? They are just no, no, they're cuddling. Just they're having a bit of a cuddle, a bit of a snuggle. So in blue terms card. of this... Oh, a blue card for something. Continuing play after beat. Um, I, don't, I didn't understand what the referee said. But a blue card is a technical foul. Blue card for 15 Barcelona Eagles. Looks like the refs are arguing now. This is fun. In my head, there's lift music playing. All right. Because it's so chill. Nothing happens, and the sun is shining. Okay. Ooh, this I love these starts where both players are hugging the quaffle and fighting for it. And everyone's waiting for the beaters. We're take it busy. Back to the, floor. the beaters, beaters are, are entirely removed from the quaffle game, which means crushes oh, like that are going to be a nice charge by seven from Reapers, who's going forward with the quaffle and will probably score a goal, which he does. Yeah. That has cemented the Grim Reapers for a while. Uh, now being only um, 10 points behind means that even if a goal is scored against them, they're still good to go for this snitch. I think this puts them in range to actually win the game if they get the snitch catch now. And Barcelona. <laughs> nice. I hope someone is there passing off the quaffle. And someone was there. Sometimes you just got to uh, close your eyes and pray. <laughs> It's just like, whoop, I'll just throw that behind me. Hope someone is there. But um, yeah, there was someone, but now the Green Reapers, after all, have the quaffle, a pass in front of the hoops, and the seven makes the goal for the Glasgow Green Reapers. I think that that now makes it 100 to 90 in favor of uh, in favor of Barcelona. But this really does put the Green Reapers in a good position with their uh, beaters surrounding the snitch and their uh, seeker really just going, really putting everything into just attacking. Both seekers going for the snitch and Barcelona getting beat out. As I said, Barcelona are going for the drive here. Lots of alone time for the snitch. <laughs> Barcelona going for a little Jason bit of a roll. Grim Lovely block there away. by uh, Grim Reapers. Nice tackle by Grim Reaper keeper. Ha! <laughs> 37 doesn't give up, wants to put that They're just going to swallow this hoops. player now. If they just sat on them for a while, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be all right. I like how the Barcelona chases just... Just uh, hold it for a bit. How they fight in front of the opponent's hoops. It's nice They've to They've called watch. a brooms down. I think it's something to do with the snitch. Something just... <laughs> I think the snitch needed a little bit of water. Why not? Understandable. True, true. He's got a lovely fine spray as he does that. <laughs> Wonder, was that on camera? Well, do we have some fun facts about the teams? Or is it just, oh, the wind blew them away? The wind blew them away. Um, have you I can make some up. Uh, Glasgow is named Glasgow because a <laughs> guy called Glas once went there and when People asked where they went. They went, oh, Glasgow is over there. Ah, funny. <laughs> I once knew the. I really once knew the origin of that name. I'm going to Glasgow next week. Really? Looking forward On to purpose? it. On purpose. On purpose. Wow. Okay. Good luck. Actually, I'm going to Ayr. It is south of Glasgow. Let me see. Quite nice. Another cuddle by so all the chasers. The beta game has entirely changed hands, and this has put Barcelona in a strong position to go for that snitch. No one's going to be able to oppose him while the beaters are still... Well, the beaters are all, sort of like all jumbled up again now. Barcelona has bludger control. Exciting to watch snitch the beaters is trying to themselves. hold their own there. The Glasgow Seeker is now nice locked dodge. out from being able to get into contact. It's a typical snitch on pitch situation where you don't have the beaters to save you. Glasgow just being cleared out of that uh, that snitch bubble there. Barcelona running in strong here with number four going in. The Grim Reapers getting the 19, who I praise for her tackling skills. That was a skills. lovely timed a beat from uh, the Grim Reapers there, knocking out the uh, Seeker from Barcelona, giving their Seeker a couple of precious moments. But it looks like the snitch has fallen down. 
which is going to stop play for a little bit. I can't see the score right now. Do the you score, I believe, is uh, 100 to 90. Oh, okay. Um, in favor of the Barcelona Eagles. Uh, the chasers from both teams, they are just kind of having a bit of a nice lazy day. Uh, as it is, just, you know, in the sun, lying down together. All the beaters do all the hard that? work and the, and the seekers, of course. They have been reset to their feet. That was, I don't know what that kind of whistle was supposed to mean, but the snitch is running towards us. He's got a happy little jog as he does it. I think he's come back for more water. It, it has yep. become a very hot day. So they are doing a very quick water break, I think, making sure no one uh, passes out of dehydration. Have you been in Florence at the World Cup last year? No, no. I know it was hot, though. It was so hot that um, I know some players who had the plastic shoes and they put water on top of it and like it was like it didn't even touch. Oh, wow. The shoes was just... Evaporating straight off. Yeah. Microwaving feet. It was hot. It was terrible. Well, that must have smelled lovely. Mm, like nice. leathery bacon. Yeah. Nice hot plastic yes. for dinner. So I th so is think this, is this an this official is drink? I think it might just break? be a drink, but I don't know if a timeout was called. Um, Amund didn't ask for the the game time, so I don't know if it is just a case of he's being nice and thought, why not? We'll give everyone a bit of a drink. Because I know I think the snitch requested time to get a drink, so they might have uh, used this to uh, form an official uh, stoppage. That's fair enough. Well, have you been to Barcelona before? Barcelona, a very long time ago. Long time. Yeah, I've been there for a Quidditch tournament, which means I hardly, I've had, have, I've, I have hardly seen anything ah. of the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curse of Quidditch players. Hey, nice city. People do date uh, um, city trips too. It was nice not to meet you. <laughs> so it looks like teams are getting ready to go back to their positions of lying down. I am curious about how comfy that patch of grass is, because it's, uh, it's been about three times today I've seen uh, players just kind of having a prolonged snooze there together. Uh, where? Where they are now with the... Uh, uh, no, it's actually quite nice, especially um, after you've played at the other pitches, uh, and then you come here and it's heaven. Good, good. I like, I like the venue, it's cool. It is a very lovely venue. And we do have a couple more toilets, but uh, you can't have everything, I think. Mm. Yeah, but... It makes up with the dust uh, when uh, s the snitches are trying to get rid of the seekers, and there's just this, this, this really nice. it's dust one of the flying around. I, it I looks am dramatic. waiting to see uh, the photos from the tournament. I'm sure there's going to be some very dramatic, long exposed photos with the dust flying around them and oh. some old face plants into the ground. It'll be beautiful. You'll be able to see the, angri the anguish on every crease of someone's face as the dust licks I hope it. someone is filming it. To have really really cool trailer with a voice who talks like this about the European Quidditch Cup 2019 so again Quaffle is being placed inside the uh, group uh, the group cuddle and and brooms up and oh they've not gone straight to the floor they are all holding each other up and it looks like they're trying to go to the floor on the snitch game again they're going real Green Reaper Seeker really, has some really alone time with the snitch. Really hard it's a hard time. In Glasgow again, just bubbling. They've managed to get possession back. Hard fought. This is what they need to continue the game. Uh, Barcelona going straight in to go for the Seeker, but missing the shot, giving the Seeker more time with the snitch and their bubble protecting them. Oh, it seems the Seeker was beat. They did call it beat. Green Reaper seem to be doing really well with the snitch on pitch. Oh, it hurts to watch that big cuddle. Glasgow just about managing to stop the CK getting any time with the uh, with the snitch there. Well, that was a nice catch attempt by the 87 of the Green Reapers. It looks like they might have missed the seeker there coming in from Barcelona. No, Barcelona was hit, it seems, allowing Glasgow seeker to continue on a on a pose for a while. Hmm. <laughs> There you go, that Glasgow being beaten out. Barcelona running in, trying to get that snitch catch. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of a slap on the arse there. 
I think uh, Barcelona have uh, gained blood control now. The sub box of the Barcelona Eagles shouting. The sub box of the Grim Reapers not moving. It looks like uh, the beater there from Barcelona wasn't particularly happy with the call there. It was a turnover because he went outside of bounds. The Glasgow uh, seeker is entirely alone with the snitch now, having a good, a good old row there, good play. Oh, and it looks like the Quaffle's out as well. And they put it straight oh, through the hoop. That was a That is now little goal. even the scores. It's now 100 all. The game is back on, it seems. Not entirely sure what this one's for now. This uh, brooms down. Oh, it looks like uh, he's getting a little bit of a massage on... Uh, on the pitch while we wait. Oh, I would love a little massage. It's a wonderful pastime. And on, on Facebook it said that someone is selling massages. On, for on five the euros. I am mm, looking into that. Yeah, that, yeah. Hmm. Something hypnotic about watching a man have his legs stretched. I think they're currently trying to push him into the ground. If you can get him nice and deep, no one's going to see him coming, so we can get a surprise tackle. That's my theory. I'm not entirely sure of the actual reason for the stoppage. I don't know. I don't know. I, st I stopped wondering about it. I don't know. They are. They do seem to be stopping every... Give it 30 seconds. Yeah, my brain gets burned away in the sun. It's not getting better. Well, I think the reason why the snitch is so far away from us here is uh, he's found some shade. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm humming this. Uh, I'm singing this thing, and I don't know if it's just a German thing. It's what every German starts Yellow singing card. when waiting 15. time is long. Illegal charge. Goal is good. So, oh yeah. Some so goal is good, and there was an, it's a yellow card for an illegal charge, apparently apparently by the number 15 of the Barcelona Eagles, a beta. Goal stands. So it was a legal play in the beta game there. Okay, uh, Glasgow beaters, again, I think have regained possession. Oh, no, they have A slightly haven't. strange pass by the keeper from Barcelona Eagles, straight to a chaser from Grim Reapers, who passes to seven of Grim Reapers, the keeper who's making another goal for the Grim Reapers. For the so first time in the game, the Grim Reapers have now taken control of the game. And here's another rooms down. Wonderful. <laughs> Surprise. And the Grim Reapers sub box has woken. Oh, okay, remount everyone, and the game continues yeah. with the Quaffel in the Eagles. At the rate they're going, Glasgow might actually be able to pull out of a range here. Both yep. Glasgow and uh, Barcelona have their seekers on the snitch. There we go. Another goal, Barcelona is I think. No, it's not a goal. Another it's a boom down. I think Eamon said it was a goal. I think the Barcelona players said it wasn't. That's really nice of them. You think we scored? Well, it's honest. Ha! You're stupid. So no goal. So the score is currently 110 to 100 in favor of uh, the Grim Reapers. Great. I like games that take a uh, turn like so they this. They have managed to pull themselves back. And the 10 of the Grim Reapers has the quaffle. He's running towards his passes. Grim Reapers beaters tried to get a something. shot on the uh, on the Barcelona seeker there, but did miss. Leaving the seeker really having a, a field there. Nice go. go by the Glasgow, Gr Glasgow Grim Reapers. Glasgow are now only one goal away before pushing um, Barcelona into forcing them into doing a snitch. <laughs> and another goal by the Eagles. Uh, the man no more. Green Reapers seem to have two trolls and two trolls behind their bonus hoops sometimes. I've seen that a couple of times. It's 120 to 110. Both teams still very much in the running. Glasgow Seeker back on the snitch. 
Glasgow tall guy holding the ball above his head. Ooh, nice, nice. <laughs> There's a goal for the Grim Reapers again, bringing the score to 130 to 110. By the really important player, number seven. Is that Shammer? I don't know. Oh, right. No, oh, no, I don't think so. I'm confused. Aren't we one all? Jersey set Chema, but it was another. Ooh, very close number. to getting that catch there, but Glasgow's beater did manage to get in to stop the seeker. We are thankful the snitch action comes closer to us. We can have a better look, and it's another goal apparently for the Barcelona, Barcelona Eagles. scoring that. Grim, the grim keeper. <laughs> Does, At didn't this look point, too happy the about two this. teams, they are just trading uh, goal for goal here, really. <laughs> First handicap second, for I the think snitch. That was. First, second. Oh, second, sorry. So Which means one-armed snitching. So, currently, uh, Glasgow are trying to bubble the snitch, but only with one bludger. The Eagles got back bludger control. So one of them must be beat. Yeah, the 15 of the Eagles. And Eagle Seeker has some alone time with the snitch. And there's the must Grim the Glasgow keep, uh, uh, Peters coming. are really, they're earning their keep tonight, really. Yeah. Number 23 having to really work hard to uh, to keep them in the game and stop. Uh, ooh. It's a typical loss Everyone of balls flying, flying around. You're supposed to commentate this. It's, it's just happening. So much is happening at the same time. And there's another goal for Barcelona Eagles. I think that's now 130 to 120 in favor of Glasgow. They want our hearts to suffer here. Someone's got to grab this snitch eventually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And the 19 of Grim Reapers just tried it. Has to go back to hoops, but it would have been a nice catch, sneaky catch. Glasgow and going for a goal there, seven. popping it through. Seven, the Grim Seven is. That's 140 to 120. <laughs> that, no, it's no good. She was. Uh, uh, they were beat before. A big shout from the Grim Reaper sub box. I'm going to make that joke. Every time now, it's a grim beater, it's a grim keeper, it's a grim sub box. I like that one. <laughs> so it's when 37 of uh, Eagles. Barcelona to get Eagles uh, ch uh, seeker that did have their hand on the snitch, unfortunately just didn't grip it. And there's another cuddle in the keeper zone. I think at this point they're more than friends. <laughs> <laughs> if we could listen to what they are whispering into the uh, into their ears. Ooh. Both seekers at the snitch. It's a shame. Both of them had a chance to grab it there. Both of them missed it. And Brooms down again. Oh, another one. What is Brooms down for this time? I must say, most of the games today that I've been commentating have all overrun. Oh, do you know what? Right. On our little notes, there's the, the question, do you have a chant? And the Eagles actually wrote out their chant. Um, most of it is Barcelona, Eagles, Barcelona, Eagles, Barcelona, Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. And there's no story behind it there, Time right? Out. Called by Glasgow. One minute, huh. starting now. So this looks like Glasgow have called a timeout using a stoppage in play to call it. This is the second time out of the game. Each team has won each game. Now, I don't know if Glasgow are really going to be uh, trying to discuss new tactics or if they're just using this as a little bit of a water break to give their beaters a bit of a rest. I would totally understand that decision. <laughs> as it stands at the moment, Glasgow, what they're doing is starting to work. They are working so hard on those two games and we are just here standing, commentating. A standing up is effort. Yeah, standing up every morning is effort. I think one thing that we can see is the moment that the beaters are removed from play, it, their chasers have pretty, uh, pretty much equaled each other out, with I think Glasgow having that slight edge over the chaser lineup of the Barcelona Eagles. So without their beaters, while they're on the snitch play, Glasgow mm. are pulling it away ever so slowly, but, but give you know another 10, 15, 40 minutes of the game, they might actually come out of, uh, out of snitch range. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry for being so silent, but this is uh, Trillian Broomstall, and um, 
Let's and this just hope one, it's good. And this one, we are good. running out of things to talk about. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, people called Shema Panda. All right. Oh, wow. The, the foreign of Barcelona Eagles is a sport journalist and football referee at a professional level. He played Quidditch in the USA. And if you say you play Quidditch in the USA, then the whole of Europe goes, wow. And everyone one just assumes that you're really good. I don't know if that's true. And they've remounted. Off they go. Barcelona making a shot at the hoops and getting it in from a nice sneaky little pass. That's very good work there. The score is now 150, 140 in favor of Glasgow. Glasgow seeker having a bit of alone time there with the snitch. Barcelona going back into it but falling over. Glasgow seeker again, <laughs> missing the uh, beat there, rolling going under it. It's nice as a and another. Uh, that's a Glasgow goal. goal. For Glasgow. So the thing is nice how the, the groom keeper can just hold the ball. Is he so tall? He can just hold the ball uh, in his hand. It's over his head, and no one can reach it. <laughs> Did look like there was some. Oh! oh! Looks like there's a a catch by a catch. Barcelona. However, I don't know if the uh, if this is something that's going to come into it. It did look like eight was beat, and still removed the bludger from twenty five. I don't know if that's going to affect the ref call here. I am enjoying this game, but please let this be good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out very soon <laughs> if we can get out of the sun and spread some negative energy in the live stream. No, no, but it has been a long day, and it's quite hot here. Well, I've got to straight from here, run to pitch two as fast as I can to go and commentate on that game. Okay. So I am I am hoping Good luck this with is this. Uh, called good. But either way, we'll see how it goes. Both teams have fought really well in this game. They've uh, given it their all. And to be fair to them, they've kept up the energy and the speed. Regardless, it's uh, you know, it's towards the end of the day. It's and very hot. the catch is good. It's a good catch. I believe that means that it's 170 to 150. Don't quote me on that. Might be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. You, you've you been better like in keeping up because we, we can't the see the gone. score. But you at home, sipping really? a cup of tea, you can, you can actually see it. You know more than we do. Enjoy the feeling. Well, that was Barcelona Eagles winning against Glasgow Grim Reapers in the first round of 16. I've been Sam Davis and I gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so it's just me, so I'm going to say goodbye as well. I'm Henny Schröfs and I hope you enjoyed the game and the commentary team.